Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamiriel, if this is your first time here. Today we are here to talk favorites for the home. I am a new homeowner and there have just been some things that have been coming in clutch that have all come from Amazon and I want to share them with you. Even if you're not a new homeowner, they may just be some things that you, I personally think you might need in your life and around your home. So if you wanna know what I've been loving lately, then keep watching. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out how I want to start this off. There will be some things that I will share with you that I actually have right in front of me and other things I'm just going to show a picture of you, show a picture of them to you either A, because I don't have them on me, I don't feel like getting it or whatever. I guess we'll start here. I have been loving, loving this bad boy. It is a brush that you can use to clean Whatever, I personally use it to clean my shower and my tub. So it comes with three brush heads, maybe four. This is the one that I obviously have used recently and it just, it's not a lot of bending over, elbow grease type situation when it comes to cleaning the dirt and the grime that comes in a tub and a shower. I love the fact that this brush comes with different brush heads because obviously you can change it to fit whatever space in your house that you are trying to clean. But again, I use it for my tubs and my showers. And so this brush head has come in handy. There's another one that I tend to use. And I just like to be able to see the dirt just kind of go away as I move the brush along the tile or whatever it is that I'm cleaning. So this has come in handy. It's chargeable. It has a little um, space here for a USB port. And the battery life has been pretty long. I've only charged it maybe twice since I've gotten it. And anytime I need to bust it out, even after not having charged it for a while, it still works. So I highly recommend this. It does different. Oh, I didn't even know that it did that. Look at that. I've been using it on the lowest setting. So it extends and then it also, this I know it does. It does, oh wait, not that, hold on. <laughs> it does this, that. So you can get a little angle going. So again, just takes some of the unnecessary stress that you could put on your body trying to ensure that you have a clean home. So highly recommend this brush and We'll go ahead and move on to the next thing. Speaking of keeping a clean house, I am someone who doesn't like for people to wear shoes in my house. <sighs> Between getting alarms set up, me breaking stuff or doing, just having to call experts in to repair things. I don't wanna be like, oh, hey, can you take off your shoes? So instead of asking them that, I give them these. It's a pack of, of shoe covers. So pretty self-explanatory. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Would you mind putting these on for me? You give them to them. Um, I can't remember how big they go, but I've had grown men in here, again, alarm systems and things of the things like that. So it fits men's shoe sizes. And they just come in handy if you're someone, again, who doesn't want people tracking outside in their house. So highly recommend shoe covers for keeping the house clean. I'm noticing we have a theme here, it's keeping the house clean. <laughs> Speaking of keeping the house clean, these microfiber towels have come in clutch. I didn't wanna pay, they're only 20 some odd dollars, but I found myself being cheap. I didn't wanna pay for them because I, I, I thought they'd be more like paper towels, but they're sturdy and they're dur durable. And as you can see, it's a lot of them. So I was happy to see that I would get my money's worth. So these have come in clutch just when it comes to cleaning. I like to use these to, after I wipe down my bathroom counter, I like to go in with these to just kind of ensure that it's dry and keep it from streaking. These also came in clutch when I spilled a candle on my carpet. And here's a little pro tip. If you ever spill candle on your carpet, and it'll probably work on your floor too, or rug, anything like that, you take a microfiber, microfiber cloth, put it over the wax. You gotta let it dry. I think you gotta let it dry. Put it over the wax, take an iron, and it'll soak up the candle wax. So these came in clutch. I went through several of these when I spilled my candle and they just, 
they just make me feel cleaner when I use them. So I highly recommend these. And again, if you had a little bit of sticker shock like me, take comfort in knowing or find comfort in knowing that this is how big the roll is. I've used several and I still have plenty to go. While we are still on the cleaning thing, this little vacuum cleaner has come in clutch just for any little minor spills that you don't want to get your big vacuum cleaner out for. So I've used this to vacuum my dining room chairs every now and then, you know, food kind of flies around or, um, I don't know, just random things that again, you maybe sweeping it isn't ideal. You don't, again, want to bust out the big vacuum cleaner. So this little cutie comes in clutch. She came with two filters and she has a lot of, a lot of suction power. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of suction power. She comes with different, what do you call those things? Attachments. So if you just need some quick spot cleaning, I recommend this. All right, next up, we got to talk pest control. I don't do bugs. Don't like bugs, but they're just a way of life, I guess. I say all that to say I got this insect and pest control effective, natural, safe, Mighty Mint Spray. And interestingly enough, I've been seeing a lot of uh, spiders around here. So basically what happens, you shake it up, you spray it, and your house smells amazing like peppermint, and no dead spot, or <laughs> the spiders are dead. <laughs> so it's funny because I sprayed some on the outside and right at the inside lining of my door, and not long after, I, I remember seeing a dead spider at the end of my door and I was like, okay, so it's good to know that this works, putting that barrier there in place. So yeah, it says it's safe around people and pets, indoor and outdoor use. I've used it for both as you can see. Well, you probably can't see. My line is right here. This is how much I've used of it since I got it. So if you are someone who wants an effective, natural, safe, solution to pest control i recommend it i'm trying to think does it say any other bugs spiders beetles ants and others okay that's not very detailed but detailed enough i got it for spiders because i had saw some when i first moved in and i was like oh no you must can't sit here so solution for you there so remember how i told y'all i spilled a candle it was on this when it happened. This is a candle warmer. This is very effective. <laughs> it comes with two bulbs. When I knocked my candle over, the bulb, the first bulb broke, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, this is very effective. It has, how many settings? A two hour setting, a four hour setting, and an eight hour setting. And yeah, I just like to plug this in, put one of my candles in, especially some of can, um, I have a candle that's limited edition. And so I don't wanna burn it because it'll burn faster. It'll go away faster. So candle warmers are great for the slow burn, for the candle that you don't wanna say goodbye to very soon. I have found, let's use Bath & Body Works for an example. The scent permeates more when it's a three wick candle. When it's a smaller candle, like my one wick, not as effective. So I, as you can see, just light these regular, but if I have a three wick candle, again, better to me, better scent payoff with a candle warmer. So that's just my two cents. These little vacuum storage bags are amazing. So this particular one, it came 20 bags, four jumbo, four large, four medium, four, sm four small, and four travel roll-up bags. And yeah, they're just hella, hella convenient for, I, I'm noticing I have a lot of sheets and obviously I can only have one set of sheets on the bed at one time. And so what I've done is the sheets that aren't in use right now, I put them in these bags. I use my pump to get all the air out. It does take at least, why did I time myself the other day? It took three to five minutes for me to suction all the air or as much air as, a, as I was comfortable with removing. Cause eventually, you know, your arm gets tired. Point is, 
it came in clutch and just was able to give me a little bit more space in my closet instead of having a big stack of sheets because I don't fold my sheets well. So all of that to say, if you're looking to have some storage, a little bit of organization for your stuff, these storage bags with little vacuum. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me think. Do we have any other house stuff? Because I'm noticing as I'm looking at my list, I have some non-house stuff. So now we are done talking about house stuff and we're just gonna talk about Amazon stuff that I've been loving in general, okay? So we're switching gears a little. Baby hangers, you've probably seen this all over social media, but baby hangers come in clutch when you are trying to fold your pants. Not a lot of excess hangers and the kind of awkward tilt that kind of tends to happen when you have one pair of pants on a regular size hanger. So I have really enjoyed the neatness, the structure that comes with moving my pants from a regular size hanger to a baby hanger. So I think that's something if you're looking for a little more, again, a cleaner look, less clunky, again, the hangers leaning and rocking, you know. That's just something I suggest, baby hangers. Okay, so remember how I was just talking to y'all about sheets? I recently bought some bamboo sheets and they're amazing. They're soft, they're a little cool, which will come in clutch because it's April and it's gonna start to get hot. So I just loved how soft they were. Again, the feel of them, I don't think they do a, a count like, you know, like Egyptian cotton, obviously not because they're bamboo. Point is, really enjoy the bamboo sheets that I have. Looking forward to getting more. They had a wide range of colors, the particular brand that I got. And because of the material, they're not as clunky as say some of my cotton sheets because of the material. So if you're just looking to switch up your sheet game, I think bamboo sheets would be good to go for you. So these things, obviously I wear makeup and even if I didn't, I wash my face and water gets everywhere when you wash your face or at least it does for me. So I have these little, I call them wrist scrunchies. I can't think of the actual name. Um, I'll have a picture, that's the goal, because I left them upstairs and I don't feel like going to go get them. Um, but basically, they're, I call them wrist scrunchies. You put them on your wrist, and so while you, you are washing your face, if the water is running from your hands, the little scrunchie absorbs them, and it just helps face washing be less messy. So you can really get in there and get all the makeup and gunk and whatever else you're trying to get off your face off. And keep your wrist dry so water's not running all day. Y'all you know, know what I'm saying. If you're an avid face washer, those will definitely come in handy. So that's just some random Amazon tidbit for you. Because I'm having to go out into the world and people more, hence my get up. And so now that it's getting hotter, we are saying bye bye to boots and hello to pumps. And so with that means also saying hello to what I call toe pillows. It shouldn't be a toe pillow, maybe like a foot bonnet. I don't know why I keep trying to make up names for these, but basically what happens is you take these little, and these are two different kinds. Um, I just wanted to try two different versions. But basically, oh, this is long, this is for a finger. <laughs> it's not, but um, maybe someone has long toes. But basically they go on your toes like this and they protect your toes from the what's the word, from rubbing up against your shoe and keep you from getting corns and bunions and all the other hammer time toes and just all the other unfortunate things that come from when we wear heels or just shoes that are uncomfortable. So I've been loving these. I keep, I keep them on me and I typically put one on my big toe and one on my pinky toe. And they also just kind of, for me, help with the overall comfortability of wearing the shoe. And I'm able to last longer in my shoe and walk with more confidence because I know that a bunion's not forming every time I take a step. So yeah, these are, I, I, I don't know how to describe this material. What does it just say? It just says that this, that's this material, that's, it's not, I don't know how, how I would describe it, to be quite honest, which isn't helpful at all. But there's that, and then there's these, which kind of feel silicone-y. 
um, yeah, just two different two different materials that do the same thing, but I highly suggest those if you're someone who wears heels a lot. And speaking of heels, we're gonna transition right into my next thing, which again, I busted those out today too because today was my first day wearing pumps. I call them heel straps. I don't know <laughs> the exact name, but basically there's something that you put on the heel of your shoe. It's an invisible strap. So if you're wearing pumps with no straps, I'm someone, my foot flies out of my shoe sometimes. I'll be walking, especially if I'm, you know, my feet are narrow and I don't have anything to hold my foot in place because I'm wearing pumps with no straps. But with these, I don't have to worry about my feet going anywhere and I can comfortably wear pumps despite having narrow feet. So again, you put those on, they, it's just like a strap on a regular shoe, but it's an addition to the heel itself. I'll show you, it's great. And I, again, I was able to wear pumps that typically I wouldn't wear because I'd, I'd be concerned about my foot falling out. And you know, that's not good for anybody. So with that being said, we are now at the end of my overall Amazon home meets random things that I've been loving lately. So if you enjoyed any of this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And thank you for watching. So I'll go ahead and wrap it up for now. <laughs> and it's so awkward ending these things. Until my next video, I'll see you later. Bye.